guys, it's Super Mario TN2 back with that customizing video that I promised to all of you. Now, let me just start off by saying that customizing the Milwaukee Brewers game time set by Oyo into like a kind of stadium with dugouts and stands and stuff, it was kind of hard because I kept running into obstacles. Like, I, was, I ran out of blue pieces halfway through so I had to go to the Lego store to get more but uh, I still lost them so that's why there's a lot of there might be some red but I tried to keep it in places that you wouldn't see on camera also like I said with that Oyo season I have their schedule they're playing 12 games the info on all the on the players and stuff the starting lineup versus the Indians which is their f first opponent so, let's take a look at the field now. I hope you all like it so far, so let's start out with the infield. Now, let's just start off by saying that with the infield, that this is just like they're warming up for a game that's coming up. So they're actually warming up, like the infield players are warming up. And here we got our guy that does nothing. He's four eyes and... He's not going to be doing anything, so he's just hitting the balls to the infielders. Aeon Herrera, Gene Segura, Scooter, and Mark Reynolds. And there's Jonathan Lucroy. I'm, like I said, I'm going to change that number to be 20. So don't worry about that. You will see that as number 20. And so they're just taking fielding practice. So Gene Segura is going to get the ball and throw it to Mark Reynolds. Mark Reynolds is going to throw it to Jonathan Lucroy. And Lucroy is going to throw it to the generic weirdo. Now, and then our umpire's just hanging out, you know. And then, in the dugout, we have our number four figure. The guy who I was missing a hand to. Or, no, I was missing his elbow piece. So, yeah, now I got his elbow piece back. Oyo actually sent, like, 20 million hands when I just asked for an elbow piece. This is at least a hundred elbow and hand pieces. And then also they sent all these stabilizer bricks, and I have no idea why. I mean, they called them stabilizer bricks, but all I ordered was an elbow piece for that guy right there. And I got all of this stuff. I mean, not that I'm complaining or anything, but still. Now, in the outfield, they're taking outfield practice. We got Ryan Braun. We got... Uh, Carlos Gomez, once I change it to be number 27. And then over there we got Logan Schaefer. He just caught a fly ball and he's acting like he got swag. Alright, so let's remove the weirdo. And this is what the dugouts look like. Let's give you an over-the-top view of it. Now, so pretty much what happens is they come off the field, go in here. They can go sit down right here, here, here. They can sit down anywhere right here. Then they can go down here and watch the game from here. Now, I was actually thinking about doing bullpens back there. But then I decided not to because I've been me needing to turn this around a lot to get good camera angles. And if I have a bullpen, I'd have to keep it at one way because I had to put all the stands there. So, let's get to the other team's dugout now. As you can see, this dugout is blue. This dugout is black because, I don't know, the away team doesn't get a good dugout. Let's just go with that. So, it's, it's exactly like the other one, just with black pieces instead of blue pieces. Also, guys, watch this to the very end if you want to see the schedule for all the brewers. So, in these three red chairs, you see, we are having the three important brewers players of the game. Now here we have a construction worker that helped build Miller Park. We got Mark Antanasio. I think he's the Brewers owner or something. And then we got Bill Schroeder, one of the Brewers announcers. So that's where the important people sit every game. And it'll change, so look forward to that. And then behind here we got the mailmen, the mailman and the mailwoman. But I don't even know why I put them in. I just found them. Let's just say that they got free tickets for being a good helper. So then their view is, you can see, pretty good right there. That angle is kind of cool. And then, I'm sure you got the luxury. Well, no, first we got to go over here. These are the important people for the opposing team. And we've got some random people. I don't know what they're doing. But that's actually Professor Snape from 
Harry Potter. See, he's being mean. Then we got two fans back here that are the fans of the other team. I just had to find generic people, you know. And then let's show you guys the luxury seats now. Okay, so up here we got a little stand that comes up to the luxury seats. Gilby. Meow. Meow to you too. Meow. Meow. I'll pet you. There you go. Okay, so then luxury seats. You could have more than four people sitting up here, but I only put four up here. We've got, I got this girl in a Hogwarts set, but from Harry Potter, but I don't even know who she is or anything. Got some generic, I think he was supposed to be a farmer or a robber. Some random people up here in the luxury seats. They pay good money for it, and then that's their view. So they got like the best view in the house right there. You'll be. Gilbert. Gilbert. Me out to you too. Whoa, what you doing there, kitty? You're weird. Okay, so then let's get to the other side. We got Homer Simpson. I just thought I should put him in there because it's kind of funny. But it's just like the other one. You got the best views in the house of everything. I like this guy's generic part. I found him. Uh, some random guy. Some random guy that I got in a Christmas set. And now let's get on to the actual stands. First of all, we got the foul poles on both sides. They're the exact same height. And obviously they go on the first base side and the third base side. And they're kind of tall, as you can see. There's a good angle of them. Gilbert! Shh. Shh, Gilby, shh. I'm trying to make a video here. You're going to get your food in a sec, okay? Stay right there. Now we've got a police officer down here randomly because he's going to be security. Now, like I said, I ran out of blue pieces, so on the stands over here, I had to use some red. But you can't really see it. All right, let's get to the stands now. But first of all, I made a fence. Here, let's move Logan Schaefer. He's not important. Just kidding. So, I made a stand. I made it kind of as tall as it would for a Oyo minifigure to jump and, like, catch a, like, rob a home run kind of thing. But I'm not sure how that's going to work. I don't even know if anyone's going to rob a home run in my series. My Oyo season, I mean. Okay, Logan Schaefer, you're going to go in the dugout. You're bad. So, and then I made it curve just like regular would. But that was probably kind of hard, you know. There's a better view of where the that stands, foul poles. It's the same thing on both sides. Now I'm going to try and get stickers that say 400, 344, and then I don't even know how far the Brewers um, fence is away in right field, but I know it's 400 and 344 over there. So I might get stickers. And, and up here in the stands, we got some random generic figures. We got Mrs. Scratch and Post from the Lego movie. These are the people from the Palace Cinema right here. Uh, President Business. Guy in the, this is a Pirates of the Caribbean guy. Pet Shop. Benny the Space Guy. And this is actually Han Solo with one of the guy's face from the set. Here, let's show you it. But remember how I said that guy's uh, face looked retarded? Well, I changed it with Jonathan Lucroy. And so that's why... So now he looks actually better. So then we got the guy from the Palace Cinema, people from the Parisian restaurant, Mr. Gibbs, some random people. And up here we got Bernie Brewer's stand. Now I know what you're thinking. Where's Bernie Brewer? Yes, I did buy him on eBay. He's coming on Monday, August, like whatever. Because I'm filming this on a Friday. I'm filming this on August 7th, I think. No, today's August 8th. I'm filming this on August 8th. Bernie Brewer is scheduled to come on August 11th. So, it depends when this is up, but I'm going to be doing a review on him. So, he up here we got some flags, Brewer's colors, a chair, and a mug. So, then he can, like, let's see. Get this guy. So, then he can just, like, cheer here. He should be like, go Brewers, you know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It broke. 
there it's fixed so like I said chair flags mug blah 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 and just so you know I I'm gonna buy you I bought Giovanni Gallardo generation one minifigure it's like this with the white jersey I bought him on eBay for 20 bucks because that was the only one online and I had some 20 bucks to spend so then I bought him and uh, let's see he's gonna be coming in and right now on the field we have nine players and we obviously got the weirdo over there but when Giovanni Gallardo comes someone's gonna have to sit on the bench because I'll have 11 players so then this guy uh oh uh oh oil breaking oil breaking but then this guy, the guy that looks like a retarded Ryan Braun, yeah, he's not going to be on the team anymore. He's just going to sit on the bench. And then maybe pinch run in the last game of the season when we're down 10 runs. But <laughs> but now, that's actually it. It all fits on a 48x48 um, 48 48 gray base plate. As you can see back there, it's one 48x48 48 gray base plate. And, yeah, I was actually thinking about doing a concession stand, and I got some of the concession stand food over here. I kind of made a weird little concession stand thing with cups and mugs, and then I even have a turkey over here, so let's just, uh, yeah, she's going to eat turkey, okay? Yeah, there you go. She got the turkey. So now let's show you guys the schedule, the players, and the starting lineup for the next um, game that they play. Also, guys, if anyone has any ideas on what I should use for the opponents instead of buying all oil players for each team and waste, like, $500, what should I use for the opposing team? Because, like I said, I have all these hands that I got from oil that I can use. So what should I use for um, the players on the other team? So please comment. And if you comment, that means that you were watching this video. So big thumbs up to you guys. So now let's get to the schedule, like I said. Okay, so here's the Oil Brewer schedule. And, and they have six home and six away games throughout the course of 12 games. I'm only going to be doing stop motion animation for the six home games. But I might make a highlight video that I made up for the um, away games. So... Let's get started. Now, in their home opener, they played the Cleveland Indians at the Milwaukee Brewers. And just so you know, all of these teams that they're playing is completely random. I put them on a list and number generator, random number generator thing. And then I made a number. I put a number on each team, and then that number goes to who they play. Then they play the Seattle Mariners at the Brewers. Then they have their first away game as they play the Pirates, Andrew McCutcheon and all that. Oakland A's come to town to play the Milwaukee Brewers. The Milwaukee Brewers at Toronto Blue Jays is next, so they're going to Canada. Is that probably the best game of the season? It's pretty much midway through as the Brewers at the Cardinals. They're big division rivals. Then the New York Yankees, Derek Jeter, comes to town to play the Brewers. And then the Brewers go away again as they play the Boston Red Sox. Then the Kansas City Royals come down from Kansas to play the Brewers. The Milwaukee Brewers at the San Diego Padres is next, so they go down to San Diego, California. The Milwaukee Brewers battle at the Cincinnati Reds next. And then their last game of the season, the Chicago Cubs come to Milwaukee. Now, if you guys didn't see that whole thing, I'm going to take a quick picture and show it to you guys. And just so you all know, this is just going to be like MLB where they have their games, then there's the playoffs, and then there's the World Series. But I'm not really sure what I'm going to do if the Brewers don't make the playoffs or the World Series. Maybe just do random to see who wins the World Series. But if the Brewers make the playoffs, then I obviously have to do the... I have to do, like, the best of four games where there's three home games and four away games, but then I won't do the away games, and then it depends, you know, everyone knows how the playoffs for the MLB work, but then it's just going to be like, cause of the, and I also made uh, the schedule for all of the other teams too, so you guys will all know, that'll be up in a video coming soon, so now let's take a look at all the Brewers players.
We obviously have our Brewers Oyo infill, the managers, Ron Renneke. I'm going to make an Oyo minifigure for him. And I'm going to need this guy, just so you know, right down here. I need to tell you guys something. In first base, we obviously have Matt Reynolds, number seven. Scooter Jeanette is playing second base. Scooter. Gene Segura is number nine. He's playing shortstop. He's the one that's taking a ball right now. Aeon Herrera is playing third base, number three. Ugh. I hope you guys can see that. Jonathan Lucroy, number 20, is going to be catching, obviously. Going to change that number to be 20. Logan Schaefer, number 1, he's the guy over here. He's catching the fly ball. He's playing left field. Carlos Gomez is playing center field. I'm going to change his number. Ryan Braun, my actual oil minifigure right there, is playing right field. And then, so far, I don't have... A pitcher yet, Giovanni Gallardo, number 49, I bought, so he's going to be coming soon. Or Matt Garza, number 22. Now, I don't know if you guys all know what Matt Garza looks like, but he looks just like this Oya minifigure with that little mini beard. So I might change this to be Matt Garza and have him be one pitcher too, so Giovanni Gallardo doesn't have to start all 12 games. But right now, we have one bench player, and that's him. And then that guy right now is actually pitching. But then when Giovanni Gallardo comes, you're out of there, bro. You're out. Like, the young player's going to go, you're out. And then this guy's now a bench player. So, haha. Then, like I all said, like I said before, they play the Cleveland Indians in their first game of the season. And let's take a look at their starting lineup. Second base, Scooter Jeanette batting first. Center fielder, Carlos Gomez batting second. Ryan Braun, right field, batting third. Jonathan Lucroy batting fourth. Catching, Matt Reynolds is fifth and he's batting I mean he's first base. Gene Segura is sixth and he's shortstop. Logan Schaefer is seventh and he's left field. Aon Herrera is third base and eighth. Batting eighth. And pitcher Giovanni Gallardo is batting um next uh ninth. And then we might have a pinch hitter, depends if I get a pinch hitter guy. So and then I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the um matchups for the first day of the season. Alright guys, I'm on the computer and we have all 30 NF NFL teams, really? We have all 30 N MLB teams, except the Brewers and the Indians, because they're playing each other. But we're going to be figuring out who's playing who in their first day of the OYO MLB season. And it's just going to be like regular MLB, only with 12 games. So let's figure out who's playing who. And all, just so you know, all the results for this is random. It's a random group gener creator, so, so like, you could have the Orioles playing the Padres, and that would be completely random. And then I'd randomly have to pick a winner. Submit. All right, let's see here. So, whoa. Whoa, that's not right. Something went wrong here. The There's three up here. And then there's only one right here, but we still know what it looks like. So the Red Sox are going to be playing the Astros in their first day. The Dodgers are in a three group, but then down here, the Blue Jays don't have anyone, so it's going to be Blue Jays at Dodgers, Royals at Phillies, Rockies at Rays, Orioles at Yankees, Giants at White Sox, Tigers at Mets, Padres at Pirates, Blue Jays at Dodgers, like we said. Twins at Marlins, Reds at Cardinals, Diamondbacks at Angels, Athletics at Braves, Cubs at Rangers, and Nationals at Mariners. Now I'm going to print this out and show you guys more. Alright guys, as you just saw, we just random generated all of these. So I'm going to show you guys all the teams that are playing in their first game of the OYO MLB season. Cleveland Indians at Brewers, obviously. Red Sox at Astros. The Royals are playing the Phillies, and the Royals are going to be playing the Brewers. So will the Red Sox, so that's cool. Baltimore Orioles at New York Yankees. The Yankees are playing the Brewers also. The Giants and the White Sox. The Tigers and the Mets. The Padres, which the Brewers are playing. And the Pittsburgh Pirates, which the Brewers are playing. Toronto Blue Jays at Los Angeles Dodgers. The Brewers play the Blue Jays also. The Twins at Marlins. The Reds at Cardinals. And we already have an NL Central showdown in the first day of the season. The Arizona Diamondbacks are playing the Los Angeles Angels. The Oakland A's are playing the Atlanta Braves. 
The Chicago Cubs are playing the Rangers, and the Nationals are playing the Mariners. Okay, I have a quarter. Now we're gonna. Ch I'm gonna show you guys how we determine who wins each game. It's as easy as a coin flip. Now let's just do the Washington Nationals at the Seattle Mariners. Now this is not actually what's gonna happen in the game. I am just flipping a coin to show you guys what what how how this is going to be scored and who's going to win, but this is not actually who's going to win the game because I'm going to coin flip all of these at once. So, Washington Nationals at Seattle Mariners, so we just flip a coin. If it's heads, it's the away team. If it's tails, it's the Seattle Mariners, the home team. It's heads, so that means the Washington Nationals would have won the game. So, but that is not actually how this is outcome is going to become. That was just an example. That's not actually what happened. So, Seattle Mariners fans, you still have a chance because they didn't win yet. Because I'm going to coin flip all of these going down and write who wins. And then I'm going to just make up a score, you know. Well, actually, I might get ten quarters and then flip them all. How many heads there are is how many the weight team. Well, I don't know, but I'll just show you guys later. But... Tell me if, I'm trying to figure out a stop motion animation site, so if any of you have a good stop motion animation site for me to use, please comment down below and I will subscribe to you if you give me a good one that I'll use. And just give me some ideas on what the season should be. Who's your favorite team? Who do you think is going to win the OYO um, World Series? And just so you know, yes, in the playoffs we're going to be doing them best of seven or best of four games so it could go to game seven so you you'll want to stick around for the playoffs but if the brewers don't make the playoffs i don't know what's going to happen i might just flip a coin for each game to see who wins and see who gets the farthest um but but me i'm hoping that the brewers are going to do well in this season it's i mean it's everything is determined on a coin i mean seriously that's awesome but then so, the Brewers are playing some tough teams like the Cardinals, and let's see, let me go back to our season. We play the Oakland A's, um, the New York Yankees and the Red Sox are really good, so we'll see how the Brewers do in this OYO season. So, thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe, and give me an idea on all those questions I just asked. Subscribe, please. For Gilby, please, just do it for Gilby, you know. My little kitty, he's been, he, we actually lost him, but we found him. Gilby. Gilbert. Hi, Gilbs. So, yeah, subscribe for Gilby. He loves you all. Right, Gilby? You love them all? He said yes. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.